good afternoon. And I'm sitting here with Avril Bullock from Alliance, and uh, we're just going to have a bit of a, of a chat. Are you ready? Yes, it's a pleasure <laughs> to finally talk with you. Finally, it's been a while. Yes. It has been a while. So y you have watched the games just now between mm -hmm. Sigma and Navi. You were watching at your hotel, I would assume? Yes, with us for We had a good time there. What did you think about the games? They were really exciting, especially the second game. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I remember exactly the first game, but I thought for a moment that uh, Sigma had the second game, but then uh, life drain from Pugna too strong. That is that is the case. I was wondering, like game one, um, Sigma had a bad rider. Mm, I what do you think about that pick? Because personally, I wasn't really convinced, and it didn't really shine through. Was that because Navi just played really well against it, or was the pick just maybe not quite fitting? I don't know, I thought it was okay. Um, they didn't do so much with it though, like they didn't get any pickoffs really. They only used it for team fights. And Fada did play very well, like he got... He pulled them really well in the middle of team fight, now getting caught by like Rubik Lift or anything, but... They tend not to have a good follow-up, which was a problem, like uh, full charge, uh, Alchemy stun or something like that. But, you know, they could have maybe had a better pick, uh, or laned it differently. Uh, they could have gone like... Batwood. Or Alchemist made it had a lot of options and they maybe didn't choose the best lanes. Okay, and for the second game because that was really close. Like, is there a specific point in the in the game that you thought like, or was it up like actually at the end of the of the game only? Like now Navi has it, or this is the point where where Sigma went wrong. This is the point where they could have ended it, but delayed it too long. In the first game. Second game, or maybe uh, both. Maybe both. Well, uh, the second game. I don't know, like it felt the first 30 minutes, Navi had it, but uh, Gary had some good farm. Uh, Sakshi played very good that game. And uh, I don't know, like once they, they got some really good pickups with the clock uh, against Dendi. But there was one fight in the at the end where they went for their base. Uh, they initiated on Dendi and he didn't have buyback, but uh, clock they couldn't get a hook off, so then they survived with a four staff. And if that hook. Hit probably would have won the game, but again, when they kill him at, at the middle, they probably wouldn't won, won the game at that point because he was dead 110 seconds or something. Yeah. But then they uh, follow them and they probably they probably should have. Uh, I heard Loda talking about it and he was saying that they were constantly blocking Clock from hooking at the end there. So I don't know. They they probably could have done that better. Okay, and I mean this is our fifth 2-0 of this mm. tournament. It's it's a bit of a shame. Like there's only been two O's. And I was talking to Note at some point in this tournament and he said um, overall it's if if that team will win the first game then they will win the second one as well. But is there you think a main reason that there actually has been only two O's? And and on top of that, I think that last game that we just saw was the first real even back and forth game that we have seen. Is that something that you were expecting? No, I don't know why they they only get two O's. Uh I mean, you get some momentum from the first game winning, get confident, and that team gets down. But I, don't know, I think it's just a lot of chance, honestly. As we just saw in the end game there, I mean, they could have easily been a 2 1 in that last yeah. one. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing a 2 0 uh, against Navi now. I think we have a 1 0 lead. You okay, do. So, a 2 0 would be good there as well. Uh, I don't think we'll see that, though. I think it's going to be a e much e more even game. But I think the viewers are going to be really happy with that because, it, like, it's a shame. They're, they're more Dota is better. I mean... Well, yeah. not for me. No, not for you. But um, question, uh, because I was talking to Poppy earlier, this tournament, yes. and he said, like, we would love, like, our, our best finalist to face would be Alliance, because games against them are always fun, and, like, you're the, be you're the favorite team for them to play against. Is that likewise? Yeah, of course, it's uh, Navi is probably the most fun team to play, and especially with the crowd, even though they... They go for Navi, yeah. kind of a little bit too much maybe, but Navi is always most fun. It it gets the most viewers. It's more epic games. Uh, you feel the more more tension stuff like that. I uh, probably would have preferred playing Sigma if because uh, I feel like we probably have a higher chance of winning them because uh, our last like last four games against them sets we've won all of them. So, but uh, you yeah, know, so the part the greed part of me wants to play against Sigma, but. You know, for more epic games and, and stuff like that, Navi is, is going to be good games. And it's also the first time that you meet in a best of three, best of five, like in a series, since a very long time. Mm. 
and a lot of this has happened since then, uh, especially like since Alliance results lately haven't been quite as good as they should be. Of course, this event it's it's going like perfectly, mm. only like only two O, so you know winners bracket. Do you think that like are are you a bit nervous for it? Are you like extra hyped? Nervous? No, like that was just in the beginning. I think I've gotten over that. Uh, but sure, I'm hyped. Like I really want to beat Navi again. I think the last two best of five or something like that they've beaten us. So yeah, uh, and they beat us here last time. Even though we had a one-zero lead, so they went like three-one against us. But I feel a bit more confident now. Um, Navi is Navi, so it's always going to be challenging. But I don't think they've screamed as much recently. I mean, they had a small boot camp. You know, they like Invoker for some reason. Just out of this tournament, just popped up um, a lot. Like first pick Invoker. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. Uh, well, again, against Sigma, Sigma has played a lot of Invoker themselves, so I guess it's yeah. Well, not in officials, I don't think. Like uh, one against time. Rock's Kids, no, against the Fnatic last week Saturday in the Pinnacle Esports Cup. I'm up to date, Aye. but they they had uh, they had Fada Invoker with Mechanism and Necronomicon, and it was like yeah, yeah. But Invoker with Necro and uh, his spirits <laughs> really. Annoying, really annoying. Yeah, so I, I can understand, like, you either want to ban it against them or you want to pick it yeah, first. But as for sucks with it. Don't oh. tell him that. Okay. He might watch the interview, though. No, he won't. No? Okay. Don't tweet at him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, how did you prepare for today's match? For today's match? Uh, we slept, we went to eat, and now we're here. That's how we prepare. There's no special ritual or anything. Okay. Um, yeah. You, you don't spend time to get in the zone because yesterday, uh, before your match, I, I wanted to try again an interview with with one of you as well, and mm. it was like an hour, an hour and a half before the game, and, and, and you just said, you know, no, we want to focus on the game, we want to, you know, relax. Yeah, well, I, I was going to go here now like two hours early, play yeah. some pubs, practice, but then you come and like, the hell? You're not too early. I was going to practice though. some Furion, you know, get oh. the red mode. So, so if you lose now, it would be my fault? Yes. And you're gonna have to pay like thirty thousand dollars. Oh, easy. Yeah. Okay, I can do Kickstarter. Good. Yeah, will be good. No, but uh, did you like do do your team prepare? Like, do you have any? Do you talk about the game beforehand, or do you just jump into it and see? We what always talk about it. This load is a drafter now. He puts out his ideas. You know what we're gonna ban and so on. And we've talked about Invoker, whether we should ban it or not, or play against it. Uh, if it matters, if it's on Radiant or Dire. Uh, but yeah, we always have a talk about picks. And uh, well, that's, that's about it. And we just go in, play our game. Okay. What do you expect that you're, like, of course you're expecting to win. Are you hoping that you were going to see all four games? Or like, you, wa you said you wanted to be 2-0, obviously. Yeah. But well, what do you expect? I don't know if we were expected to win. Because it's Navi, so I definitely feel it's like a 50-50. Even though we have a, uh, an advantage, 1-0. I still think it's 50-50, really. Um, but realistically, I, I do think we're going to win. Otherwise, you know, you have to have a little bit of confidence. I have confidence. I think In me? Yeah, I oh, do. Good. That this makes good. me feel good. That's good. See, and now, and now I kind of... That disadvantage that you had but by being here, not practicing, now, yes. now you're back up to speed because yeah, I good. gave you confidence boost. Good. That's so good. It's no longer my fault. No Kickstarter needed. No 30K needed. You can give me that anyway. I think I'll pass. Okay. Yeah. That's a shame. But yeah, maybe three, two, three, one. Okay, I think uh, yeah, a lot of people would be happy with seeing all the games because more Dota, indeed, better. So, tell me about your Star Ladder event because this is your third, fourth Star Ladder and third. I don't even know anymore. It's been so many times. I think it's at least four. Yeah, four. Yeah, four then. Uh well, it's it's probably the second best land, uh, easily after the international. Uh, it's fairly close to Sweden as well, yeah. so you know, going to MLG, having to travel 20 hours, and traveling here is like eight hours. It's a big difference, and there's no jet lag or anything like that. So, it's it's much e nicer. Like, it's better to go here. And uh, well the previous starters have, have all been good. They've always keep improving, but like the other starters have been twelve thousand dollars first prize and stuff like that. So now when it's sixty five or something. Uh, yeah. Something like that. It's well, th right now the prize pool is sitting on 134k, 
k and I'm looking at the camera because it should be 135k and you can still buy tickets yes buy tickets increase prize pool and Do it. you know that would be uh, that's a good idea to just get you know support the players support star ladder and is it like is it a lot bigger than it was previous seasons like f from just from a, from a player point of view yeah sure I mean if you look at the event there always is a little bit more people every time but not by much, I think like it's always full there when especially when we in uh, Navi play and yeah. especially at the finals like the play is crowded. As soon as uh, Navi get a kill, people scream when we get nothing. You know, when Havos gets the last hit, people go crazy. <laughs> when you yeah. get a kill, nobody yeah. says anything. Is it, it does it bother you? Like is that something that or at least has an effect that you know, everybody cheers at random points and you know, you yeah. like they don't well, cheer for you basically? Uh yeah, well, not really, honestly. But uh, get a little nervous if we're gonna pick Furion because people are gonna make boo. Then they don't like Red Dota here. They're like, no Furion in this event. People are gonna get angry. Uh, yeah, you play to win, not to not, not to please the crowds. I all about pleasing. It is. That's all I care about. So no nature's prophet. No. No. Okay, you promise that? No, I won't. <laughs> but Loda is not gonna pick it anyway. No? Why not? Because he likes Simber, so. He okay. If I play Prophet, it means I farm a lot and take his farm and he gets angry. That's actually a very So he wants me to pick, he picks me a tanky offlane, so I go, go in, die, and then he goes and cleans everything up. That's basically how it is. That's why I play Timbersaw and Viper, just tank shit up so he gets kills and stuff like that. That's how he thinks. Yeah, it, it makes sense. Uh, it's a smart, uh, smart guy. Well, no. No? Well. Well, I don't get, I die. Yeah, but he gets more gold. It's all about gold. Well, as long as we win, I guess. And that's important indeed. So, your fourth star ladder ish, um, but more than like 10 times the prize pool. Easily. Is that something that creates extra pressure? Like, do you feel more pressured right now compared to last star ladder finals that you were in? Uh, actually, not really. I mean, this is one TI3. We won quite a lot of money there. So, playing for money, you know, sure, winning $65,000 is a lot and it means a lot, but. Uh, since we won TI3, money is not like the number one priority. Uh, we can live off this now, so it's more about just the pride. And beating be Navi the in a uh, best of five again would be nice. People, if, if we would win, people see be like, wow, well, they got an advantage, it's one zeros, it's not the same, but no, still. Okay, uh, just to take a look like uh, just outside Star Ladder right now, because there is a Chinese shuffle incoming. Mm. Uh, especially at Chinese New Year and uh, the Chinese teams of course previous CI were not really all that strong or at least not as strong as a lot of people were expecting them to be and do you feel like they're too restless because are you ex what are you expecting Chinese teams to be at TA4? Four? TA four? Well, well uh, there's a lot of shuffles so I, I don't yeah. really know I mean I, I read on Reddit something about Winter saying some team whatever that was like Schwan Faith and whatever um, I don't think it's a good thing to keep shuffling like this. Yeah. At least they're doing it like in time, because if they do this in like three months, they might not get invited to TI3. So if they want to shuffle now, then this probably is the last time they will do it. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure why they do it. Like IG is, is a really good team. For example, they're like probably the be second best team in China, even though they lost 0 3 now to DK. It was also kind of one sided those games, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, so it probably is like internal problems maybe or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it has to do with your performance or anything. So, I mean, if, if they can't play together on a personal level, then they have to change, I guess. Yeah, they have to be a team. And I think the same thing goes for America, because uh, at the moment, American scene is like n almost non-existent. I mean, there are some up-and-comers. I mean, Pretty Boy Swag has been, you know, yes. raising some eyebrows uh, overall in their results. And they're, they're, doing, they're doing good overall, but they're not tier one yet perhaps still what do you expect from American scene uh, in terms of uh, of performance in the coming months because obviously just like China they need to be forming their teams like right about now between now and a month from now because if they want to try and get an invite for TI4 then this would be the time to start are you expecting something from them something big uh, something big I don't know like probably EG might I don't know what they're doing right now I mean there was something about RTC joining them if that's true or not who knows but if they do get RTC, then it can become a really strong team because he is a very good player. Yeah. First land v wins, you know, not that easy. And uh, so EG can become very strong right now. They're, I don't know, 
even who plays it right now, if they still have the same team. Uh, they, there are not many tournaments for them right now, so. Uh, but they, became, they can become strong. And uh, Team Liquid, they have the same roster. And we haven't seen much from them either. Again, because Stoller has been running and they don't get invited here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> too bad for them. Uh, but they're really strong, actually. Many people say they're bad or so, but when we scream them, they're like one of the difficult, most difficult teams to play, and they tend to beat us in scrim. So, but they do like choking on land. So we'll we'll see if they ever, man, if they can overcome that, then it can easily do some big upsets. Okay, I just saw the rest of your team uh, walking in, so I think uh, that uh, you're gonna be preparing soon for the match. Still, you know, still that Nature's Profit game. Just you know, get a warm up, just in case, just in yes. case they'll get picked. Is there any hero that? Apart from Lone Druid, like, is it really Nature Prophet and Lone Druid that you love to play? Like, if you had the choice to play any hero, would it be those one of those two? Or, well, if I can't get them, probably yeah. probably Lich. Lich. Lich is good. I keep telling my team that, but solo off lane or duo. Yeah, you can do anything. Either like dual lane with him, really good in off lane, or you can or you can uh, go solo off lane or one on one with him. We've been doing it at, like two times in scrims, and we won both. Uh, because of the Lich, or? Yes, I was like owning. Okay. I was getting mech and denying creeps. And, and against who were those scrims? Because I guess, I guess that's important. Well, one was against Team Liquid. Okay. Oh, I don't know even know if we won that one. Maybe I'm just saying stuff to make myself Lich look good. Make Lich look good. Uh, but yeah, he's he's really fun. I just love denying creeps. And bounce bounces. Bounces. Those bounces. Got to get all ten of them. So uh, yeah, thank you for joining me here. I wish you a, l a lot of luck, or not that you need luck. Course in nice. uh, not with your support. No. You're cheer for us, right? I'm not sure yet. What? I've not really been cheering. You're that much. a Navi fangirl? I am a, as a as a fur fangirl right now. Okay. So I thought you were on my side. Is it, why is that the same as Zephyr? Yeah. Or yeah? Alright. Okay. 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 We'll be good. So uh, I'll be right back here with uh, someone else to interview. I hope to get someone of Fnatic still on the, on the stage here so that we can talk a bit more about the game to come. Maybe a bit more open about strats that we might come because I don't think that you want to indulge into uh, what kind of strats you're going to be running. No. And that, no. Oh. I don't know anything. I'm stupid. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Well, then, thank you for joining me and uh, good luck. Thank you. <laughs>